Welcome back to You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. I'm Gary, one of the clinical audiologists and part of the ownership team here with Advanced Hearing Group in Scottsdale, Arizona. This is Earwax Removal Vlog number 49. Yes, we've reached vlog number 49 already. It feels like only yesterday we embarked on this journey of making YouTube videos and the number of subscribers and followers that we have has grown exponentially. Please take a moment to like and subscribe if you like this information. The more people that like and subscribe, the more we get this content in front of other viewers. One of the things that we've been asked to do multiple times is to attempt to show irrigation. So we're gonna use a different camera angle later in this video to try to show the irrigation. Please take a moment to let me know what you think about the angle. We're still experimenting with it and I'm not sure what I think. And before then, we're gonna use the curette to remove as much of this wax as we can so we can at least get a partial view of the eardrum before starting the irrigation. Did you know that earplugs can be used for many different things? For example, solid earplugs are amazing on a shooting range, but they're not as good when it comes to listening to a concert. Musician's plugs are designed to flatly attenuate sound and keep the fidelity, allowing you protection for your hearing and high quality sound when you're at a concert. If you need earplugs for any reason, ear molds, sleep plugs, hearing protection, please, let us know. Okay, so now we're gonna try this camera angle. You can see we're using the uh, water irrigation system. You see the water coming out of the patient's ear. Now we're not seeing any large chunks here, but the water is a little bit discolored as it's coming out. You're gonna see when we put the video otoscope back in the ear that the wax has significantly changed colors and definitely moved quite a bit. Now we can definitely see part of the eardrum and the wax is really stuck to the bottom and the right side of the ear canal. We're going to use the curette to remove the rest of this wax and see if we can't get this patient on their way. At this point, they are showing less hearing loss and not feeling any more of the oral fullness. The irrigation didn't hurt the patient. It does feel kind of weird having that much water go flow into your ear. That's a nice big chunk there. Again, when we talk about different types of ear molds, here's a link to a video in which we show you how ear molds are actually made. Understand that different ear molds are perfect for different situations. You can use a solid earplug even at a concert, but you may lose some of the fidelity of the music. If you're not a huge music person and you just want to protect your hearing, that's going to be fine. But if you're a real music aficionado, you may want to spend the extra money and get the musician's plugs to help to keep the, uh, the fidelity of the music as high as possible. All right, we're just about done. We're going to use the curette to get this last little bit of wax out of the ear. And that's a pretty good view of the eardrum. There's still a little bit here at the outside we're going to need to clean up, though. And that's a wonderful view of the eardrum there. This has been You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.